equestrian friends, it's me Lisa, the Budget Equestrian. Welcome back to another video. And today's video is a little bit different than the types of videos that I usually do, which are horse related or how to make the most of the time with your horse. But I've had a couple of people ask me, how do I come up with ideas for the different videos that I have? And right now I have 515 or 16 videos out and I still have tons of ideas of different videos that I wanna make. And I thought it would be fun for me to come up and brainstorm some video ideas and share them with you. Just in case you have a YouTube channel yourself and you've been looking for some ideas for videos for your own channel. And what's really fun with this list of video ideas is it doesn't matter if you have an equestrian channel, a beauty channel, a gaming channel, whatever type of YouTube videos you make, you can make content that is specific for your channel just by coming up with some random ideas. And unfortunately, the video ideas that I'm gonna share with you today are not in any particular order. So if you like what you hear, grab a pen and piece of paper and write down the video ideas. Or you can go over to my website at budgetequestrian.com and I have a list of all 100 plus video ideas over there and I'll leave a link to that in the description box below. So how about we get into the list? Number one, you can do a room tour. Lots of people do room tours, so that's a really good place to start. You could make a video of your favorite things of all time, your favorite things of the month, or how about a monthly splurge, something that you've saved up for or something that you've really wanted and you decided to go ahead and buy it. You could do a video of you saving the money or getting that item that you really wanted. How to DIY, pretty much anything. And you could do a dollar store DIY, which kind of piggybacks on the former. You could do a haul video. You could do an unboxing video. How about shopping for your first car, bike, iPhone, horse, pretty much anything. Now these are a couple that are more related to my channel, how to tack up a horse, how to bridle a horse. You could do a tour video. We already talked about a room tour, but you could do a barn tour, a home tour. How about a walk and talk video? You know, the type where you're walking and you're talking to your phone, so you got your camera up and you're just walking along. Those are pretty interesting and something that I'm actually gonna start working on for my own channel. If you own a horse, cat, dog, or even a hamster, maybe do a video of what it's like to own a horse, cat, dog, or hamster. If you like to go shopping, how about shopping the clearance section at Target? And then you could do a come shop with me video. Cleaning your room, my favorite car or truck, what I drive, a car tour, how to save money, homemade recipes. This could be a food recipe, or if it's more like my channel, I do a lot of DIY products for horses. So it could be detangler or fly spray. And the most recent one I did was a tail serum DIY recipe, which is awesome. Not the video, the video is okay, but the tail serum itself is really great. You could do essential oil recipes, and you could do a video on the benefits of essential oils. The ever popular what I eat in a day, or you could change it to what I feed my animals during the day, my horses, my cows, my pigs, my cats, chickens, whatever. The best gift ideas for blank. So the best gift ideas for a mother, best gift ideas for a horse lover, best gift idea for your teacher. How to organize a room or a closet, desk, a house, a barn, a tack room, a reaction video. I haven't done one of those before. I'm wondering if I should. Best places to shop online for blank. So whatever it is that is your niche or your channel is about. So mine, for example, is horses and equestrians. So best places to shop for feed, best places to shop for English tack, best places to shop for, I think you get the idea. An affordable blank outfit, meaning an affordable horse show outfit, an affordable job interview outfit, something like that. What's in my playlist? These are really popular. You just take your iPhone or wherever you have your music and do a video of the songs that you have in one of your playlists. What's in my blank? This could be your purse, a grooming tote, your refrigerator, 
a first impression video. Something that you bought or something that you've really wanted and you finally got it, do your first impressions of whatever that special item is. A dollar store hack, what I got for Christmas or birthday, back to school. How to decorate for blank. You can fill in whatever you want. Expectations versus reality. My workout routine. My favorite exercise for blank. Arms, core, your rear end. You get the idea. Best phone apps for blank. Teenagers, women, men. How I deal with stress. An introductory video for your channel. Basically a channel trailer for your YouTube channel. I need to do that again. I haven't done one of those in a long time. I need a new one. My favorites of the year. This could be related to things that you've bought, favorite moments of the year. You could compile video clips from things that you did throughout the year that you were your favorites and maybe do like an end of the year video or something like that, kind of a recap or just your favorites. If you're into essential oils, you could do a video on essential oils and discuss what they are. I know I talked about homemade recipes earlier, but you could do your favorite recipes that you'd make over and over again. How to start a YouTube channel. Uh, makeup tutorial. Most expensive blank that you've ever bought. How to earn extra money. How I afford my blank. For me, my horses comes to mind. Shopping at a thrift store. You could even title it, you won't believe what I found at the thrift store. Everybody likes Pinterest, right? So you could do Pinterest ideas or you could do my Pinterest fails. Different Pinterest things that you've tried that were nothing like they said they would be on Pinterest. That one could be fun. My truth about blank, fill in the blank. What books I'm reading right now, best books for blank. 10 small YouTubers you should subscribe to. How to sew a blank. How to take better pictures, how to film a video, how I edit my videos, and really fun ones are GoPro videos, so something from a GoPro point of view. My favorite TV shows to watch on Netflix, Hulu, Amazon, things like that. A transformation video, so take something that you're really passionate about and do a before and after. Transformation videos are really fun to watch. A try on video my wish list so say something that you want for your wish list for christmas for your birthday for a wedding graduation something like that craft ideas or diy room decor how to lose weight my blank collection so it could be saddle pads shoes purses whatever you like to collect share it with your audience what i did on vacation a first look video and don't forget product reviews. You don't have to necessarily go out and buy something to do a product review. We all have products that we love to use and if you have a product that you really enjoy using, do a review on it. How about a hairstyle tutorial? What makes me happy? A year in my life. A lot of people do a day in my life so you could really one up that one and do a whole year in your life. A movie review, doing something for the first time, getting a tattoo, a cook with me video, a come to work with me video, clean with me. These videos are really popular. You can clean your room, you can clean out your purse, clean your car, clean your barn, pretty much anything you want. People really like to watch other people clean. And I have actually watched my fair share of clean with me videos too. Unpopular opinions, controversial things tend to do really well on YouTube. But be forewarned, this type of video can blow up in not such a good way. How to prepare for a job interview. What to wear to a job interview. Outfit idea lookbooks. How to make a good first impression. My monthly empties. This one is pretty fun because you can take your favorite things that you've used for the month and just kind of talk about them in front of the camera. What it's like to be a blank. A nurse, a mother, an influencer. I think you get the idea. Pretty much anything you want you can put in there. What it's like to be a, get it? I met blank in person. Insert a famous person that you met. That's kind of cool. That would be fun to watch. Home improvement DIYs or how to's. How to glow up. I don't even know what that means. Spending $50 at blank versus blank. So take $50 and go to one store and then do the same thing at another store. And then share your results with your viewers. My blank does my voiceover. So for example, my husband one time did my voiceover when I was tacking up one of my horses. 
Those types of videos are really fun to make and they're really fun to watch too. Get ready with me for school, for a horse show, first day at work, all kinds of things. You could do whatever you want, just a get ready with me video. Putting together an affordable blank outfit. Go on a hike with me. A ride with me video, motorcycles, horses, bikes a comparison of products video. This one is really helpful to your audience if you have a whole bunch of different products and you can review them and compare them and find the best one or give them some different options. Those are really, really helpful types of videos. Expensive versus cheap, is there really a difference? You can do that on all kinds of different products. Restoring furniture, best homemade gift ideas. This can be focused around a holiday or a person. Fancy store knockoffs. Just for an example, you can find things at the dollar store and make them look like Pottery Barn. So if you go to a Pottery Barn store, you see something that you really like at Pottery Barn, then make a video of how you can do that product using dollar store items. Those are really fun to watch and very popular too. All right, so there you have it. There are over 100 different video ideas that you can use to get started or increase the videos that you have on YouTube. Hopefully this helps you come up with some ideas for your channel. And like I said, I do have a blog post over on my website, budgetequestrian.com, where I have all of these different video ideas listed out so you can go on over there if you forgot any or you just wanted to revisit the different videos that I was talking about today. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch this video. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for lots of other horse-related and DIY type videos. Again, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.